Hello, and this little video is just going to go through how to use the grade calculator uh, spreadsheet. Now, most of the uh, instructions are here at the top for your reference, but this is just another way to go through and, and see how it works. So in short, you fill out the yellow squares and then the green squares will automatically calculate. The first thing we find is the lecture Katni multiplier. This is not the one that you've been doing for your labs. This is one for the lecture. If you're on, the, if you're going the lecture alone, then you're just going to enter a one. If you're on a team, you will have a Katni at the end of the semester that will count, that will figure into your grade. And we will have a practice one, which you can then use as a template. If you don't know what else to put, you can just put one because that's going to be the score of most people. For the quizzes, uh, you put the average out of two points. Remember to drop the lowest six. Any bonus quizzes only add to your average and don't subtract. This is the only block where you have to do some calculation outside of the spreadsheet because I don't know in advance how many quizzes we're going to have and that sort of thing. So you have to calculate this block, but it's just the average each quiz two points. Make sure you drop the lowest six. Homework, you put in your grades each out of 100 as you can find them in Moodle. It will calculate a homework average for you as you go. Then for each exam, you have the individual portion, which you would put here and the collaborative portion, which you will put here. Uh, you'll notice in Moodle, they appear as two separate grades and that's uh, how they appear here as well. And then this green block will be the final score for the first exam, 75% uh, individual, 25% uh, collaborative, with the collaborative being multiplied by this uh, lecture Katni multiplier, if that's applicable. Again, if you're solo, you're just gonna put a one in for this uh, lecture block. And so that'll give you your final score for the first exam, just for your information. Then you've got a slot for exam two and exam three. Uh, it also calculates sort of your exam average. This isn't really like critical for your grade. It's just here because I know some people like it, like to see that. Um, then you have slots for each of the labs. Um, make sure you're entering the grade out of 100% uh, percent for these, okay? Um, and your lowest will be dropped, and it should do that automatically. Um, then you've got various bonus activities for these. Just enter a one if you did it. Uh, leave it blank or enter a zero if you didn't, and then it will calculate a final score for you. In order for this calculator to work, you have to have put in a multiplier. So something into this C8 uh, category. And you must also have at least uh, once a quiz grade. So you must have something in this quiz box. You must have at least one homework, uh, one exam filled out, and at least one lab calculated. Uh, so you need at least basically something in each category for this calculator to work, and then it will spit out the letter based upon what the number is. So this is a little tool you can use to just sort of figure out, you know, what do I need on the next exam in order to get grade X? You know, you can play to your heart's content. Hopefully you find this useful, and this concludes this video.